Let's move through a bit of a concept that's a little out of the box for you, but it's gonna give you big results. It's eat more meals per day, but less quantity. So let's take a look at the, the normal meals. It's normally what people are accustomed to doing is three meals a day, a small breakfast, either a really large lunch or a mediocre lunch, and a large dinner. This has gotta change. This concept of eating is making people overweight. If you're not happy with your weight and this is how you eat, let's start taking a look at how we can build this five course meal throughout the day. All right, so for number one here, breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day. I know you've heard it time and time again, you've probably even read some articles about it, but it really is. It's gonna help your metabolism get up in the morning. You gotta think of your body as a fire, okay? If in the morning you wake up, those coals are starting to go out, you've been sleeping, your body's slowed down, you know, you, you're a little bit cooled off from the night, right? So in terms of fire, throw a couple logs on the fire and get it burning again. Same concept with your food. Eat a light breakfast, get some carbs in you, get a little bit of that yogurt or something, a little bit of that sugary stuff, get you up in the morning, get that fire rolling, and now we're ready for our day. Now we come up to the second meal of the day. This is more of a snack kind of a meal. If we're going a high protein, low carb diet to help start building this metabolism and losing more weight, then this should be a protein-y kind of meal. A lot of people eat fruit for breakfast, fruit for their snack, and then fruit in the afternoon. That's a whole lot of carbs with no protein to help your muscles start rebuilding. So this second meal of the day, I like to start suggesting that people bring in a little more of that protein. If you're drinking whey protein or protein shakes, or maybe even you just have some chicken breasts or something from the night before, this is a great time for that snack. But remember, if you're drinking shakes or smoothies or different things, oftentimes these can really rack up in calories and rack up in carbs with all of the additives. Smoothies, bananas with the strawberries, all the different milks and stuff that are in there. I personally, I'll have a whey protein shake with just water. I got the lowest amount of calories while still getting a high protein count. So this is my second meal of the day. Try to build yours to where it fits your daily needs. And again, check your calories to make sure these smaller meals aren't gonna put you over the limit. Now we get up to lunch. Lunch, again, is not a large meal. It's another small meal. Start thinking in terms of there's no need to ever overeat because I get to eat in two or three hours. If you can really kind of almost brainwash yourself to do this because that's what it takes. You know, the first initial step for you starting to eat different is to tell yourself that this is good for me, this is what I need, and this is the way I should have been doing it all along. You almost have to slowly brainwash yourself until it becomes this lifestyle. So take that lunch for instance. We don't wanna overeat, we just wanna have that nice meal that's gonna get us a little carbohydrates to get us ready for that workout after work, or if you're doing it in the morning, we still wanna get that protein as well to help build the muscles. So we're looking more along the lines of turkey sandwiches, maybe a yogurt, maybe brown rice, uh, a chicken breast, possibly four to five ounces of steak, make sure it's a tougher, leaner meat rather than a fatty strip. Also, you can look to asparagus, greens, green beans, anything like that, steer clear of the fast food restaurants. Fourth meal of the day comes, and again, we're looking in terms of similar to the second meal of the day. It's a small snack to keep your body running on high. Remember, from the first meal of the day, we've turned the fire back on. So us eating every you know, three, two, three, four hours, we're keeping this fire going. The problem with a lot of people eating five meals a day is they overeat in two to three of these meals. When you overeat, we're obviously going to gain weight. Now, the problem also lies is that people can't stop from overeating. And this is something you just have to become accustomed to. If you want your body to be a fat burning machine, then you have to eat five meals a day. You can't starve yourself for multiple, multiple hours and then try to eat a meal to get rid of it but overeat because you're starving. So you have to start eating more often. But if you overeat, you're obviously gonna go over your calorie intake and you're gonna start gaining weight. So manage your five meals a day. Know that you're going to eat another meal very shortly and there's no need to overeat during any one of the five meals. It's the key to getting very lean, it's the key to losing weight. So be very conscious of your portion sizes when you're eating this five meals. Again, we're here on the fourth meal. So you're looking at something small. We wanna start limiting the amount of carbs we eat towards the evening hours. So we're looking to something lean. We're looking towards our protein shakes 
or we're looking towards you know a lean meat something along those lines it's going to be a small quick snack as we move into dinner now our fifth meal of the day we don't want to eat it too late in the evening the closer we get to bedtime, the more food our body has to work on while we sleep. We want our body to burn fat while we sleep. That's why we try not to eat carbs during dinner, and that's why we try to limit the amount of time, or I guess prolong the amount of time that we're eating before we get to dinner. So if you're eating dinner around five, six, seven o'clock, we wanna make sure that we have around three to four hours before we actually go to sleep when we eat our meal. This way our food is gonna slowly digest, and when we go to sleep, Hopefully our body is more towards E than towards full and our body can start burning fat while we sleep. Your body's gonna recover during the night. It's gonna rebuild those muscles that were breaking down during the workouts. So we wanna make sure that that evening meal has a lot of protein in it. Now, if you're using this three to four hour window before you go to sleep, it's important that you eat a lot of fiber. Your greens is what's gonna take that hungry feeling out of your body. Often people have used carbohydrates to do this. You wanna eat more breads and pastas and different things to get real full and feel satisfied. You can do the same things with fiber, which is your greens, so find things that you would like. Asparagus, uh, avocados, lettuces, uh, spinach leaves, things of that nature. Watch your dressings, make sure that you don't eat too much to where you're, uh, again, going over your calorie intake. Also watch your portion sizes on your meat. The cuts that you get out of the pack are probably bigger than the portions you need to be eating. With our five meals a day, if you think about it, we just ate two or three hours ago, so you don't need a nine ounce steak. Look to the five to six ounces and you're gonna find yourself getting leaner and leaner every single week. Five meals a day is gonna get you big results. So give it a try, buy in, and you're gonna really get there, okay? Keep up the hard work.